This is right after the video for this. Who knows when this is going to be uploaded in comparison. But um, yeah, the video is going to be the first shots with the Staccato P. So empty, safe direction. Oh my God, the trigger feels so good now because it's broken in a bit. But yeah, this thing is so beautiful for one. Just... Look at that. Oh my God, that's just, wow. So we're going to start with how I like it so far. It's great. I love it. Um, it's heavy, which is good. I like the fact that it's heavy. Keeps the recoil down a lot. And I don't have the light. It's not comped. None of that. So I'm just waiting for me to get the optic, the light some comps whether that be a threaded barrel in a comp in the front here or whether i do v8 ports but the staccato p um is it worth is it worth the hype uh that's up to you um for me yeah i do wish the grip was a little bigger because my paws are huge so like it goes on to the uh not the palms well the uh as, if you could see here, like, my hand is past the flared magwell. So if it was just a little longer, maybe they sell, like, extended flared magwells. If they do, that would be perfect. I will invest in that. I'm going to actually look it up today. Sorry if I'm flagging you guys, but again, you guys aren't actually there. So, um, yeah, I don't flag people in, like, real life. I keep touching the thingy, but, yeah, just... So I went to the range that's in the hood. I was shooting lead-free ammo, which is pretty cool because there's no smell. It also doesn't really heat up the gun. Like, I shot quite a few, and this thing did not get hot. So that was cool. Um, it does shoot pretty well. I am going to try my self-defense ammo because I have to, since it's going to be my EDC. I have to do at least uh, 250 rounds of my hollow points. Um, expensive, but I don't play when it comes to stuff like that. I never shoot under 250 of the ammo that I plan to carry with just so I can go through the motions and go through its, put it through its paces and just see how it performs, see my grouping and just make sure I know like, all right, with this ammo, I have to kind of tilt it up a little with this ammo. I have to kind of tilt it down a little. I also will have to get this thing properly sighted, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to wait until I get the optic and then have it all sighted in. Um, that way it's to my vision, to my how my eyes are. But yeah, just the just getting it's just so easy to so easy and so natural to just point and boom. So I can't wait until I'm actually doing like some outdoor drills and things like that. But um my first impressions of shooting the one that I own, because I've only ever shot range rentals, which were well worn in the first few shots with this thing i was way off to the left then after maybe 10 no 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 after maybe three mags this the trigger like bedded itself in like breaks so it was just super easy super crisp like it was not that crisp before oh man that's actually very aggressive but yeah, now it's just boom. Oh man, it's so nice. This is such a, the Atlas trigger is super nice. I'm going to get the same one, but in red, because that's just me. Uh, all black gun, red trigger. That's it. That's all I like. But um, yeah, I'm going to get the same trigger in red eventually, no time soon, because I have to get my optic, my optic plate, porting, and train with it, so... 
something dumb like that that's it's purely aesthetic unnecessary so i'm not even going to worry about that but is it worth buying i spent 2600 on this it came with about five six hundred dollars worth of extras this dbc grip is like 350 with tax and shipping the atlas trigger is like 85 with uh shipping and taxes and then it has four total magazines each magazine is 85 dollars so you know that's whatever that math is around five six hundred dollars worth of extras and it also does come with the stock grip the stock tack grip the stock trigger which i can sell probably like 200 bucks for that i uh, most likely will do that to recoup some funds and put that money into the optic um but yeah this i would say if i were to say i would price these retail optic ready around 2200 maybe 2300 and then used 18 1900 like that's how i would price it so it is a little bit expensive for what i what I would personally do with that, but again, I'm not staccato, and maybe one day this channel grows enough for me to be, you know, sponsored by them or something like that. Not sponsored in the sense that I'm getting free guns, which will be all, which would be like great, but you know, maybe buy them at like cost. Maybe that is two grand or so. That would definitely be worth it because I would love to get the XC, and if I could get one for around like thirty three hundred, which is a thousand under retail. I would 1 million percent buy that and hopefully, you know, maybe in six months or so I can afford that. But do I recommend this for a beginner? Yes. For an intermediate shooter? Yes. For an expert shooter? Maybe not because an expert shooter, you'd, pro that you'd probably be to the point where you have a bit more money and you can get like an XC. That 1 million percent. So if you can afford this, at any shooting level, any level of competency when it comes to shooting, yes, I recommend it. But if you are like to the point where you outshoot this gun, then I would say get an XC. Um, because I have used an XC before, and that is the best gun that I've ever shot. And I have shot a Nighthawk. I've sh I don't know what kind it was, and I've shot an some kind of atlas i believe it was an atlas if it wasn't an atlas it was like a wilson combat 2011 but it was one of the two and the xc to me personally was better than all of those so yeah if you're to the point for out shooting this of course i don't see why you would unless you just want this and it's your carry then your xc is like your range toy your competition pistol whatever but um yeah as i say any level of competency with shooting get it it's worth it. It's great. It looks good. Um, they're modular. Uh, you can send them in and like get things fitted to them. So in the future, you guys will see things like that happening. But I do love this. I do love the presentation, the packaging and everything like that. I love how it looks. I love how it shoots. I love how it feels in hand, even though my hand, it's my hands are borderline too big for it. It's still just like, it's still just like, everything's just so natural. Like, it's just so natural for me. Maybe the XL would be better because of how big my hands are, but then when it comes to carrying it, that would be just like carrying my Canic. And I mean, I carry the Canic, didn't mind it at all, so who knows. If this channel picks up, I'll have all these things in abundance. So, yeah, feel free to, you know, donate to the uh, things in the description, my PayPal, my Zelle, my Venmo, anything like that. If you want like comment and subscribe the most that's the most important thing when it comes to growing a channel besides money and doing collaborations so yeah um hopefully you guys got something from this video um i was pretty much rambling the whole time just venting about my first time using the gun it's great i love it I don't have any buyer's remorse. Usually I do, and at first I did because the trigger was not worn in, so I'm like, this feels weird. But now that the uh, trigger and everything is worn in, is um, bedded in, 
It feels so good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, this... Is, I love it. No more buyer's remorse. Usually I get buyer's remorse for things that are expensive, but after I actually used it, it was gone instantly. So, yeah, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get you guys in the next one. Peace and Merry Vlogmas.